Well, the weekend obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Center Rob Williams is a big reason the Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Brogdon on the wing. He's joined by Brown. In the post, it's Tatum and Williams. And it's Smart in at the point guard. And for the Pacers, the guard set will be Halliburton and Torte. Jay Crowder out there with Hunter. This state of Indiana, Clark, they are crazy about the game of basketball, aren't they? Yeah, hoops is part of the DNA of the Hoosier State. Growing huge fans for high school games, college games. They love the college hoopsters. And at the pro level, the Pacers and Fever both have loyal and um, strong followers. Here's Duarte. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Smart on the wing. And the three off target. Here's Torche. Williams with the block. They retain possession. Hunter against Smart. Banked in off the glass. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses? Understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. Passes it to Tatum. Fires the three. The shot, no good. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the ante. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. It's Brogdon on the wing. Five to shoot, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Brogdon's so good at drawing contact. You can't afford to get overly physical with him. For Malcolm Brogdon, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And, well, Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college. His dad and brother, lawyers. His mom involved in higher education. Brogdon may be the smartest guy in the NBA. And he knocks down the first one. You know, as the regular season, Greg, winds down, you can feel things start to change around the league, can't you? Yeah, I mean, some teams are getting totally in the zone for the playoffs, while other squads are using this time to plan for next year and try to figure out what went wrong. Brogdon hits them both. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive abilities. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. Now, here is Halliburton. Last time out, he had 13 points. Smart against Hunter. That's tipped. Stolen by Smart. Pass to Brogdon. Back to Smart. Brogdon looking it over. Six to shoot. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. So, timeout called here, the first for Indiana. You're right, defense, it's been terrific. One. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free.
Please give a big round of applause. Bring your have a look at the stand for Marcus Smart. That was your Pacers Youth Dance Team. Let them hear you. For Indiana, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Hunter, the pass to Crowder. Over Tatum. Got a piece of it. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. He kicks it to Brown. Pass to Brogdon. Here's the three. And he's good on the Malcolm three ball. Brogdon. Brogdon's got three seven points. points. When you think about Brogdon and his three-point shooting, it really is a factor and a function of him being so good in the mid-range. Now, here is Halliburton. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Pacers trail by five. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Trying to get open is Crowder. Nailed from three-point land. Seven points in the game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Outside Tatum. A pass to Brogdon. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here is Halliburton. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Pass. Just five to shoot. Here's Torte. And the Pacers on another three. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And, and one place you do not want to send Malcolm Brogdon is to the line. Yeah, you know, remember, Greg, back in 2019, he had that 50 40 90 season. When he led the league in free throw shooting at over 92%, and his career percentage not far off of that mark. That free throw good from Brogdon. Well, I love the leadership of Brogdon. Always hard at work for his team. He's facilitating, communicating, Providing offensive energy and direction. Love what this guy brings to the court. And so he's able to get one of two. For the Celtics, they come into this one following a loss to the Hornets. And there's the call on Malcolm Brockton. First, that is his foul. first foul of the game. Second, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Here's Halliburton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Lock at six. There's the lob to the hoop. He nails it. And we're tied up. Impeccable mechanics from this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Here's Smart. Williams trying to break free. Nice Mark shot by Smart. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. And the Pacers call time here. Greg, looking back at the 2021 draft, I'm still shocked. Tyrese Halliburton fell to 12. My goodness. What a steal Halliburton has been. He, he broke his wrist in college. And that scared some teams away. But boy, Tyrese has been awesome in the NBA.
And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing by two. Passes it to Orte. Takes a three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. The D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Brown. Celtics passing it around. Here's Brogdon. Williams trying to break free. The shot by Brogdon, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over it. Halliburton passes to Crowder. Hunter on the wing. Over smart. And there's Hunter on the assist from Crowder. And the defense has to recognize this. Hunter is a legit threat to shoot off the catch. Back to Smart. It's Brown on the wing. And he uses the glass on the lane. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's Duarte. 11 points for him in that last game against Washington. And that one's good. Hunter. Hunter's got his second basket. But with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. Nice bucket there. Knocks it loose. Tatum kicks to Brogdon. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they didn't want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. And some changes here for the Celtics. Horford comes in for Robert Williams, and it's wide in for Brogdon. Smart outside Horford. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. And, and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Indiana making some changes. Jackson, he's checked in for Jay Crowder, and it's Buddy Heald in for Hunter. Grant Williams is checked in for Boston. Kemba Walker comes in for Marcus Smart. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Here's one. The Pacers making the shot. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Celtics trail by five. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. White finds Williams. Off target with his three. Indiana's gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Pass to Lowry. Here's Matherin. Four on the clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Jackson. Al Horford with the rebound. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that ring. Off target from three-point range. Celtics trail by five. Outside, Walker. He feeds it to Horford. Trying to get something going. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Pacers leading by five. Here's Matherin. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. That one on White. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pacers. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And I really liked how Take they moved the ball tonight. Two because shots. of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. And
And the first one at the line is good. And Greg, up and down this Celtics roster, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. The Pacers making a change here. Hunter's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Richardson, he's checked in for Brown. That one is no good. And Greg, you watch Matherin. He is built to score at this NBA level. An excellent spot-up shooter. He, he plays above the rim. And once he gets more comfortable scoring off the bounce, watch out. Now here's White. Last time out, he had 13 points. Richardson outside. Over Hunter. Richardson, no luck. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Healed the pass to Hunter. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal An athletic forward with, with a versatile skill set. Hunter has also proven he can come up big in big moments. The Pacers have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. Richardson against Teal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, you gotta love when Richardson gets the defense to commit and make a mistake there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. 79% overall. That's good from Richardson. You know, at this point of his career, Richardson knows his role, understands it, embraces it. He's a 3 and D guy who gives you great effort at both ends of the court. And Richardson drops them both. Indiana leading by four to the wing on the left. Now the pass to Hunter. The three. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. It really makes them a hard team to guard because they space you out so well. Shots good by Walker. Walker. Yeah, Walker seems unbothered by the defense there. Very creative with the rock in his hand. Indiana's gone four or five from three-point land to get things going here in the first. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here's Hunter, and it's sent back by Horford. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. Healed the pass to Jackson. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. Here's White. It's rebounded by Indiana. Their last encounter was in Boston, where they were able to handle the Celtics. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. Very satisfying performance, and one they'll look to repeat tonight. 
they ended up winning it going away. For Boston, they have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. First free throw is good. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler and he's got some good moves too. And both free throws good for White. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Lowry passes to Matherin. Hunter with it. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by Richardson. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. There's 25 seconds left in the first. Outside Williams. Six on the shot clock. Here's White. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Healed outside. Lowry for three. No good there. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Pacers lead by three. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. After one quarter of play. And Jake, and look at the Pacers' performance here, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three point game early. Puts the defense right up against it. And we see stars, Clark, that dominate with skill. Others do it more with athleticism. Which would you prefer to build around if you were coaching? If I had to only pick one, Kevin, I obviously I'd like to have both skill and athleticism, but skill is so critically important in any sport, particularly basketball. Guys that can shoot, handle the ball, pass it, and do the fundamental things well. And um, I think that trumps athleticism over the long haul. The guard pair, Halliburton and Matherin. DeAndre Hunter out there with Jake Crow. So that's the group out there for Indiana. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50 foot ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. And here's Brown following the three-pointer from DeAndre Hunter. I think that's where Brown is at his best, guys. He's a muscular athlete who loves finishing strong through contact. Back to Halliburton. No good. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. Chris Duarte Celtics is checked in for Hunter. Court. Celtics also with a sub. Williams is checked in. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Halliburton. That one doesn't go. Good work defensively by Smart. Dishes it to Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Williams has got his second bucket of the game to go. They are just killing him on the interior. 
Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Duarte. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And Marcus no, Smart, GA, the yeah. very definition of a guy you love on your team, but, but hate to play against. Yeah. <laughs> and teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. Brogdon has got the ball here for Boston. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points, and there's the bucket from Tatum. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. For Indiana, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Timeout called the Pacers. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, Your some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Halliburton passes to Matherin. Three pointer, Crowder. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They've got an 8 0 run. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Indiana's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Duarte shot good. Duarte has got the game tied up here for Indiana. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially he skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. First free throw is good. The potential that Tatum still possesses to get better is quite scary. I mean, this guy has done an awful lot in a very short time. He's a versatile forward with tremendous skills and a work ethic to match. And so Tatum nails them both. For Indiana, they've gone only two of seven for the field since the second quarter got underway. Halliburton on the wing. Guarded by Smart. Outside Crowder. All alone. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got his third assist on the night. Brown outside. Pass to Tatum. Outside Smart. Shot clock at six. Loads it up for Williams, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Six ball. Here's Tatum. 
fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. And that's now six points for Jason Tatum. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Back to Halliburton. To the middle. He started by Williams. Six on the shot clock. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Throws down the alley-oop slam. He's so dangerous in the pick and roll. Halliburton beating the defense with that pass right there. Pass to Smart. Back to Tatum. From downtown, traps in the tray. Tatum's got nine points. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. To the inside, Duarte, and he gets the bucket. Duarte's got four points in the quarter. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. That's the Brock. He's got a clear path by himself. A huge slam. A perfect end of the fast break. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. The pass to Tatum from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. He's got 12. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now. Preparing before the pass arrives. Bounce pass, Halliburton. Crowder, the pass to Matherin. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. It's good from long range. Crowder's got his second basket of the night. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Back to Halliburton. And Indiana, another three. Now shooting the three ball at almost a 60% clip. They've been blazing this second quarter. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Jokes and love and clap your hands. Here they are, your Indiana Face Maze. Show some love and clap your hands. Here they are, your Indiana face mates. Show some love and clap your hands. Here they are, your Indiana face mates. Some changes here for the Pacers. Jackson comes in for Jay Crowder. And it's Lowry in for Halliburton. And then for Boston. Grant Williams is checked in for Williams. Josh Richardson comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's wide in for Brogdon. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Terrific steal. Smart doesn't take a lot of chances, but knows when to pick his spot. Back to Lowry. Passes to Matherin. Here's Duarte. And stolen by White. And White with the stuff. You know, White is a prideful defender now. Takes a lot of pride in that end of the floor. Pass to Duarte. Bounce 
bounce pass from Lowry. Some nice passing here by Indiana. From 13. And it's White with the rebound. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. And the rejection by Jackson. And White kicks to Smart. Over Lowry. He clangs that one off the back iron. And down it falls. Smart's got four points in the quarter. Pass to Orte. Shoots over White. 11 feet out and he hits it. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. And there's the pass to Richardson. And here's White from outside the arc. And it's Matherin with the rebound. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Outside, White. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Hunter's checked in for Indiana. Buddy Heald comes in for Duarte. Al Horford is checked in for the Celtics. Smart against Lowry. Here's Williams. Good, and Smart gets the assist. And the Celtics lead by four. Yeah, they've gone away from the triple as they look to protect this lead. Yeah, you know, sometimes that can be a mistake. But they weren't shooting it especially well early on, so I think it makes sense to shy away from the triple. Now here's Jackson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Way on the clock. A shot by Lowry. No good. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. As tough as they get. Smart, a bulldog out there, does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Boston. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand nightmares clamps thus far I also like the fact that they've been able to block quite a few shots so far a testament to hard work and good positioning on the defensive end and some of what smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet but but he makes plays that help you win so he gets them both and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Here's Matherin. He picked up 15 points in the last one against the Wizards in Washington. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Now here's White following the missed shot by DeAndre Hunter. Outside, White overhealed, and it's White missing. You know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. Jackson passes to Hunter. And uh, 101 left in the first half of the game. And there, just through activity, Hunter keeps the pressure on the defense. First team foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. DeAndre Hunter. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Austin making a switch here. Walker's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 59 seconds left in the first half. Oh, 
Again, the miss by the Celtics. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Healed outside. Passes it to Lowry. Here's Matherin. Fires the three. That one's off. He's now one for two. Celtics leading by four. Walker in the corner. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Right side Lowry. Healed with it. White with the defensive effort. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to time. take advantage. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Celtics up by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just going to continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it's so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. On the court for the Celtics. Ogden on the wing. He's joined by Brown. In the post, it's Tatum and Williams. And it's Smart in at the one. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Here's Duarte. He's guarded by Brogdon. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, most NBA first-round picks are one-and-done guys. But, but Chris Duarte took a different path, starting his collegiate career in junior college. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And Greg, when Chris Duarte got drafted in 2021, he was 24 years old. How about that, Kevin? The oldest first round pick in almost 20 years. Duarte showed maturity during his first year. Great defense. Not someone you have to spend a ton of time developing. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. A two-point game. Pass to Brown. Or the three. The rebound by Halliburton. Halliburton's got four rebounds in this game. Smart against Hunter. Halliburton outside. For the tie. Trying to get open is Crowder. Rebound by Williams. Smart against Hunter. From 12 feet out, it's tipped. And putting that 7-2 wingspan to good use, Hunter can be an elite defender if he keeps working at it. Smart dishes to Williams. Tries again. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. Tatum, that's for two. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Indiana's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Knocked loose. Stolen by Smart. Outside Tatum. 
Pacers with the rebound. Boy, they need to pick it up here now. I mean, they're 0-4 coming out of the break. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Robert Williams. For Indiana, they have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. For Indiana, number 32, two shots. The first one falls. And it's tied up with that one. For Boston, they've gone 0 of 4 from the field in the second half, yet to find the mark. Brown outside. Three pointer. Hands it from downtown. Brown. Brown's got Three. nine points. And finally, someone scores. <laughs> yeah, it's been a defensive battle to say the least, partner. Good to see at least somebody got the ball in the basket. Finally. Now here's Crowder. Five points in the game. Back to Halliburton. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Quarte. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Smart kicks to Brown. Offensive rebound. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. Pass to Hunter. Now here's Crowder. Halliburton outside on its way from Hunter for two. That's good. It's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got assist number five here tonight. And the pass to Williams. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. But he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, he almost has to foul. It's his first trip to the line. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly Take as effective as he'd break. like. And guys, that's an increase in his free throw percentage um, from last year. Uh, maybe not a large one, but it is a little bit higher. So you've got to like that progress. He's off on the first. And the energy of Williams, it's infectious. Amazing at using it to block shots, rebound, score, whatever they ask of him. It's the second from the line. Here's Halliburton. Pass to Orte. Back to Halliburton. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Halliburton's got his second basket of the night. Talk about confidence. Halliburton oozing with it. No hesitation off the catch and shoot there. Brown wide open. He fired. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. And it's in there. He's got 20. That's their third straight make off an assist. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Brown. Takes the three. Here's Williams. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Williams has got five points in the quarter. Pass to Hunter. Here's Duarte. He's guarded by Brogdon. Duarte shot good. And the Pacers lead by one. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Now a timeout called by Boston. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
Here come your Indiana Pacemates crowd. Keep it up for them. Great show. Let's thank them, everyone. Tatum passes to Williams. Back to Tatum. He can't get that one. Good work defensively by Crowder. The pass to Hunter. Here's Halliburton. He has five. And he lobs it up toward the rim. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Brogdon outside. It's Brown on the wing. A shot. No good. And Indiana will come the other way. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Indiana. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And also, guys, the confidence to keep taking the three. It's been falling, so they've got to keep going back to it. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. And both free throws good from Crowder. Celtics trail by five. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. On the wing, Brown. Outside Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Count that one. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Brown, the best is smart. Crowder against Tatum. Just four to shoot. Shot to stop the run. Pulled the shot Jaylen a little Brown. up, but the bounce goes his way. Jason and that's 11 Taylor. points for Jalen Brown. Halliburton kicks to Hunter. Sinks the triple. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now, here's Brogdon. 12 points for him. The kick out to Tatum. Pacers with the rebound. Hunter's got eight rebounds in this game. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Halliburton passes to Hunter. The kick out to Crowder. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Yeah, they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, I agree with you. A big run taking place right now, and it looks to be the beginning of the end. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more.
fans, please give a big round So Boston ends up going with a new group. White finds Walker. Back to White. Walker taking his time here. Williams, that's for two. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Indiana leading by 11. Tipped away and stolen by Richardson. Walker with it. Lowry picks him up. Richardson gets a wide open look. His three pointers off the mark. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Two points, that one goes. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. For Indiana, Kyle Lowry. One shot. And the man who many consider the greatest Raptor of all time, Kyle Lowry. He said he plans to return to retire in Toronto someday. He's already had a street named after him there. And in time, probably a statue in his honor as well. Now, here's Walker. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Clock is at three. That's in, and the Pacer lead has cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from White. You know, one of the ways White keeps the defenders honest is with his mid-range game. He's got a great knack for that shot. Here's Matherin. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game, and the basket is good. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. And stolen by Hunter. Passes to Matherin. White with the defensive effort. Celtics trail by 14. Inside. Richardson for three. And the foul called on Grant Williams. That is his first foul of the game. The Pacers making a switch here. Heald's checked in. Checking in for the Pacers. Buddy Heald. Indiana leading by 14. Down low. Here's Hunter. Excellent D there from Williams. And the Celtics shooting a pretty wretched 28% in the third quarter. This offense needs to maybe try some different angles. He dishes it to Walker. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on DeAndre Hunter. And with UConn back in 2011, Kimball Walker introduced himself to the basketball world. Now that was an absolute all-time run in the month of March. And he makes the first for Kemba in 2011 with the Yukon Huskies. 11 consecutive wins to close the year. I mean, winning his conference tournament, then the national title. And keep in mind, all those games were elimination games. So Kemba showing the leadership, and that really helped propel that young man into the lottery. Now here's Heald. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet to the paint. And the layup is good. Heald's got the lead up to 14 now for the Pacers. A guy like Buddy out hustles other players on the floor. He gets inside and there he finishes strong. Two Williams up on top. Two minutes. Offensive rebound. White. Good D by Heald. Pacers leading by 14. Pass to Matherin. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. Three-pointer, Lowry sinks the three-pointer. Lowry's got six points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Williams gets the bucket. Yeah, Josh Richardson is just not a scorer and defender, folks. He can pass it, too. 
Jackson against Horford. Shoots a fader. Jackson misses. And that's really just not heads-up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Here's White. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. White's got four this quarter. Outstanding concentration that time by White on the take. Play through the contact and score. Walker against Lowry. And there's the feed to heel. Kemba Walker comes up with the loose ball. Boy, he really bungled that finish. There's the dish to Horford. Back to Walker. Pocket six over Lowry. Walker's shot is off. That's one he knows he should have drained. Healed outside. And playing four years of college often hurts your draft status, but it got healed ready for the NBA. And by his second year, he's one of the team's best starters. The Pacers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Shots. Free throw drops for Heal. We all know Heal can shoot it, but for him to get better, he's got to keep adding different dimensions to his game. Both free throws good from Heal. Here's Brown, releases from the wing and drills it. And that's 13 points for Jalen Brown. Hey, Brown is very serious about his scoring. I mean, he's got the green light to fire up from just about anywhere out there. He takes full advantage of it. And so it's Indiana, 13 points up at the end of the period. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Head into the fourth. We'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. The guard set will be Halliburton and Duarte. Then it's Jay Crowder, and it's Matherin in at the three. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Halliburton. Doesn't go that time. White with the defensive effort. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that even when you try to wrap him up. He finds Shooting a way to Boston. score. Jason Tatum at the line for one. One shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. At the line for Indiana, Jay Crowder. Two shots.
Free throw good, Crowder. And both free throws good from Crowder. Celtics trail by 12 on the wing run. Nice ball movement by Boston. A nice shot by Tatum. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Pass to Halliburton. A shot. Nice jump shot. Good. And the Pacers lead by 11. Halliburton always relentless in attacking, making it tough for the defense to find a way to contain him. Tatum against Crowder, and he gets it to go. Tatum's got eight here in the quarter. Indiana leading by nine. There's the pass to Matherin. White against Halliburton. A three. Indiana with a new shot clock. Yep, that one goes in there. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. This is a Duarte. Here's Matherin. A three-pointer, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And it's Brogdon off the cry. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Malcolm Brogdon, a clever penetrator when he's driving like this, makes the defense uncomfortable. for Boston, Malcolm Brogdon at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Brogdon. Smarts checked in for the Celtics. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Indiana leading by eight. Halliburton outside. Pass to Matherin. For three. And Boston with the rebound. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. And that one is good. Indiana's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Indiana. Number 32. Two shots. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now, here's Brogdon. Brown inside the line. Can't nail the jump. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Here's Tatum. 
And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That'll be his second foul of the game. Hunters checked in for Indiana. Checking in for the Pacers. DeAndre Hunter. Pacers leading by eight. Time called here. Indiana, Indiana decides to talk it over. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that you huddle. They've got to, to tighten it up. You the Can you do it? Let's hear it. Head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the Pacers talked to his team during the timeout. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. Celtics trail by eight. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. And the basket by Tatum. And he's three. clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Pass to Hunter. Back to Halliburton. And there's the pass to Orte. Six to shoot. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Here's Duarte. It's over Brogdon. A put back. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. You're smart. Feeds to Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. You know, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside position. He, he just goes for the finish. Here's Duarte. It's over Brogdon. Duarte shot good. Duarte's got four points in the quarter. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Boston. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Give it up for your ace mates dance team.
Smart finds Tatum. And he banks in the lane. Tatum's got 27. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Passes it to Hunter. Indiana moving the ball around. Crowder, the pass to Halbert. No good on the three. Celtics trail by three. There's Brown with the three. The shot will not fall. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Thanks to Halbert. He's guarded by Williams. A three, Hunter. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. A very consistent three-point shooter. Hunter shoots it well from there because of how confident he is. Outside Tatum. Brown feeling it out a bit. Just five on the clock. Shoots it. It's deflected. And they hit it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here's Duarte. Pass to Halliburton. Kicks to Hunter. Now here's Crowder. This one for three, and again, it's the Pacers from deep. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now, here's Brogdon. That's tipped. Here's Duarte. And Indiana, another three. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. The pass to Smart. And here is Tatum. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Guarded by Tatum. Passes it to Hunter. Baseline J on the way. And the Pacers tack on two more. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Pass to Williams. Brown outside. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists in the game. Pass to Hunter. Back to Halliburton. The pass to Orte. And Indiana, another three. A clean pass that time from Halliburton to a wide open teammate. This smart ball movement there. Here's Brown. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Brown's got 20 points. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Now, here is Halliburton. The 10-footer. And that one's good, Hunter. Hunter's got 10 points here in the second half. So versatile offensively. When Hunter gets in a rhythm, he's capable of carving up a defense. And I'll call the Celtics. Pacers Youth Dance Team.
Player of the game. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Good job in the low post. Tatum. Tatum's got 29 in the game. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Halliburton passes to Hunter. Dishes to Crowder. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Brown. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You know, really, guys, Brown is at knocking down shots even when getting hit. Shooting for Boston, Jalen Brown. Shooting one. One shot. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just give themselves a little bit of a break. He's guarded by Williams. And the Pacers tack on two more. Putting his height to great use there, filling out the situation and then hitting from mid-range. Inside, here's Smart. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Well, fade away. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. And it goes down, but with no defender near him, no need to go to the fadeaway. Up top, Tatum. Defended by Crowder. The line for the Celtics. Jason Tatum, two shots. Shoot two. So the first one drops, and that brings them to within ten. second so he makes them both Indiana leading by nine 124 left in the fourth quarter here's Forte up again great positioning on the footband a flat out bulldog in the paint great job to follow his own shot there and get the basket Outside Tatum. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Crowder. Indiana's got eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Pacers. Tonight, they did a great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing, and that led to some open shots. Solid play, definitely, Kevin. And in the win-loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to on the year. And this victory will draw them even in the season series as it comes to a close. Fitting that it ends two games to two because it's been a really good battle between these teams this year. And here are the Pacers now following the basket by Jalen Brown. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. 
so it's Indiana picking up the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kyle, congrats on the win. What did you guys want to accomplish and get this win? Uh, everybody played. Uh, we all played together. You know, uh, we, we stayed, you know, aggressive and stayed, stayed the course of the game. Thanks again, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olin, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.